welcome to the morning, but it's such a beautiful Wednesday, isn't it, Raj? Yes, indeed. It is 15 of May 2013. My name is Raj Arya, together with Joanne Kwan, and you're watching Morning Bell as always on Capital TV, Channel 420 on TM Unifies Hip TV. How, what do you think about me today? Do, do you think I look like a masterpiece, like art? Well, oh, there right. is always beautiful art and ugly art. I'll leave it to all our viewers <laughs> to decide which kind of art or masterpiece Joanne look like today. But that will be indeed the theme of today's Morning Bell because we have a very interesting guest mm. of the very artsy, fartsy kind. Can you paint? Nope. Can you draw? Nope. So what do you get in school for art? Oh, uh, normally just ngam ngam passing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Where do you draw your son? Huh? Sun, you know? Matahari. Oh, ma Matahari. I mm. thought my Anna son. No. no. It's Matahari. Where do you draw your son? Uh, in the sky. On a piece of paper, where? At the corner or in the center? Oh, in okay. school. I never really thought about it. Never I guess really in the corner. La. I'm <laughs> left handed, so left corner. <laughs> I think yeah. Joanne's asking me some psychological questions in terms of my art. I'm left handed, but I'm not very artistic. Exactly. That, mm. that is one thing I would like to talk about. I thought. Excuse me, <coughs> gone down the wrong way, you see. I thought left-handed Well, let's put it this way. Would. Creativity comes in many, many different forms. Mm. Not necessarily only in painting, not necessarily only in drawing. Mm. So, the viewers should have figured out what my specialty I is. I know, la, he's always uh, has his talent. What? Nothing. Give up the gap. No, he has his talent about the geek side of uh, figures. Well, that's Numbers. Right, but I'm a very hot looking kid as you can oh, see. Oh okay. yeah, speaking about, speaking about school time, I remember that once you told me you have an ambition is to be Angkasawan, right? Yeah, that's right, go to space when I was only I think, 8 years old. But look at this boy. That's this right. This boy, how old is he? Well, this comes up to huh. our first story for today. A 21 year old, I won't call him boy anymore, young man mm. has created this fantastic accomplishment assimilation by uh, traveling solo flight around the world. Around Can you world. imagine that? 20-year-old uh, Malaysian pilot James Anthony Tan mm. has indeed brought us tremendous fame and accolades for being one of the youngest to actually uh, complete this uh, accomplishment. Wow, this is such an encouragement for all the youth out there. You should really chase for your dream. Yeah, well, people at that age will be playing motorcycle, playing Facebook. <laughs> Someone is actually playing aeroplane. The aeroplane. real kind of aeroplane, aeroplane at aeroplane. that. And he actually also break the Guinness Books of Records. That's right, World right. Record Academy, the Malaysian Book of Records, hmm. of being the youngest Malaysian and ASEAN pilot to achieve this task. So, so it's, it's no days joke. How does he went Well, the for? initial plan was going to take 48 days, 48 days but he yeah. managed to accomplish this two days earlier. Wow. That's right. I think covering 20 countries, mm. 30 stopovers, and a distance of 39,083 km, almost 40,000 km. I heard there's also another good news whereby he might be coming to our show, right? Well, for all your viewers, here's a little yeah. teaser for you. Well, you heard about him, now we have talked about him, and guess what? Tomorrow, you'll get a chance to see him live on Morning Bell. That's right, same place, same time tomorrow. So please do stay tuned for that episode. Yes. So we won't say any more about it. We'll let the man mm, himself mm. tell us more about his achievements tomorrow. So why don't we move on to another story which yeah. is in fact very close okay. to your heart. Something which is very, very close to my heart. First, we encourage all the youth out there to chase for your dream. Now I encourage all the ladies out there to go for shopping. I think that doesn't take much encouragement. Shopping, oh, this is, this is good. We call it a queenly affair. All the beauty queen is going to be there. Mm. At least, if I'm not mistaken, how many of them? Six beauty oh, yeah. queens. Including All my girlfriends, yeah. <coughs> I'm talking about the Curve Fashion Week, which is starting by tomorrow. That's right. Until the weekend. Six beauty queens, including Miss Universe Malaysia, Miss World Malaysia, Miss Tourism International, all of them will be doing a catwalk session there. And the best part is, tomorrow they'll be starting with a fashion gala night and then continues with fashion show on Saturday and Sunday as well. And to all the shoppers out there, I'm, I'm so bad, man, bad influence. Get to stand a chance to win if you shop above 150 ringgit, you know, in a in the two receipts and then you will send a chance la, to win up to a 10,000 ringgit. So now the more important question mm. is, Joanne Kwan, will mm. you be there tomorrow? 
<coughs> well, the thing is, is your name there. Well, the thing is, Typo. I read, I read the news. I, I will read the names. Uh, the beauty queens that is going to be there is Miss World Malaysia 2012, Lee Yvonne. Lee Yvonne, your friend lah, huh? Miss World Malaysia 2011, Chloe Chen, which my friend yeah, your friend. Miss Tourism International 2011, Gabriela Robinson. Okay, Miss World Malaysia 2010, Nadia. Nadia Hing. Miss World Malaysia 2009, Tanuja Anandan. And Miss Universe Malaysia 2003. 2003? 2003, yeah. 2003, Elaine. Oh, Elaine, Elaine. Oh, that was sorry, before my time. I, my, all the young ones. I my know. time was Miss Malaysia Queen of the World 2002, so I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to get a phone call today. Why are you not invited? Okay, anyway, uh -huh. for those of you who want to get up and close and personal with some of the most beautiful women in Malaysia, this is your chance Under as well. Under one roof, they're going to be there. That's right. Uh -huh. And on top of that, a chance if you do go shopping, why not at the curve where you can actually stand a chance to win some fantastic prizes. I actually love the curve. Nice That's right. place to shop. Yeah, just around the corner from us. You can yeah. go after morning bell. <laughs> right, folks, if you have any thoughts, you can always email us at updates at capitaltv.my or tweet us at the capital TV. Like uh, we've mentioned earlier on, do I look like Mona Lisa? Just a bit, a bit, a bit like Mona Lisa. No? Smile? Well, no, obviously no, not. No, no, okay. So if you want to find out more about what real masterpieces looks like, please stay tuned right after this break. Welcome back to the Morning Bell. Wow, is, is art exhibition going on? Art exhibition going on? Thank God I did not take my... Yeah, you should have brought. We would have loved to see what your <coughs> stick mag looks like. But first and foremost, <coughs> I would like to introduce our guest for today, who is none other than Ayu Fairuza Zakaria, or better known as Fai Zakaria. Thank you for being on our show today. Thank Good you for morning. inviting me. Good morning. That's right. Okay, now, very, very quickly, we know that art is something which is a growing trend, uh, growing interest right here in Malaysia. Yes. But let's start from the beginning. Can you just tell us your story in terms of how you got yourself immersed in art? Oh, okay. Um, I'm actually an interior designer. Mm -hmm. I have my own company. Uh, the thing is, when I started my own company, it's hard to find a painting that's suitable to the area that I design. Mm. So that's when I started painting. And then after that, I've tried uh, joining a few exhibition and competition. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, why not try this, you know, something... Take it more seriously. Mm, yeah. Yes, because um, I started painting in 2005. Right. But I only go into the scene, actually seriously um, join all this exhibition from 2009, actually, five years from now, actually. Yeah. Right. Which is quite so recent. Yeah, it's mm. quite, quite recent, recent, actually. Now, going back a little bit more into, into time, uh, mm -hmm. um, it's obvious that by being an interior designer, it's... It's something that you're very passionate about, you know, mm -hmm. creativity, mm -hmm. art, and all that. When did you decide that this was something you wanted to do? Because most people, as we know, in Malaysian society, it's about being a doctor, being yes. a lawyer, accountant. Yeah. Yes. So for you, how did it all start? Okay, um, actually, I don't have any art background because um, I only took uh, an art class until standard six. I know, wow. I can relate to that. Yeah, yeah, then after that I went for... Uh, Lukisan. Lukisan. Yes, I don't like actually. I, mean, I also I mean, don't I like me. Um, <laughs> then after that, when I'm in college for ID, interior design, right. we don't really have an art class, but uh, it's more like a history of art, da -da -da -da, okay. yes, mm. building. Mm. And I started to paint actually because of there's too many restrictions in ID. It's not a restriction, but you have rules and you know lines. It must be balanced. It mm. must be straight. It mm. must be you know. There's must be. And okay. they have all the submission as well. Yes. With all the criteria that you need. Exactly. To. Mm. So you have to follow all these rules. So the reason I started painting. One of the reasons I started painting is actually because I remember when we when in school when we paint we just 
uh, the teacher might give you one subject and you just paint whatever. That's right. Lukis je lah. Yes, exactly. Mm. So that's why I started, that's what I, uh, make me want to paint. Mm. So if you can see from my um, previous um, paintings, mm -hmm. they are all like splashing colors. <laughs> And but I do have because of maybe because we are we are trained to that, so we still basically I don't mix simply mix the colors. I still follow certain rules. Mm. But in terms of forms and lines, I I can just do whatever I want in painting. That's I can true, really express huh? myself. That's right. There's there's total mm -hmm. freedom. But as we know in art, there are, there are many different kinds. What impressionist art? Then of course mm. art where it's more on portraits and all that. So what? was your inclination towards okay mine is actually originally when i started painting i thought mine is abstract oh okay, yes abstract. that's right but then after a while um i find it quite boring to have a flat pieces meaning there's no texture in that's it. right that's yes. right that's right so that's it's like two-dimensional right yes. you want to bring it make it more 3d yes yeah. exactly so that's when i um focus more on the material uh so mine it's actually an uh, experimental art and also a therapy art. If you ask me to elaborate or um, go into details into that abstract, yes. So I ex uh, I experiment with a lot of um, medium and mm -hmm. because I want to get that effect, the the 3D effect. <laughs> I I really get bored when, especially nowadays when people can do printing. I mean, sure. like. You yep. can buy copies, prints, exactly. Copies. Which is it's almost so as good as the original. Yes. It's so easy nowadays with all the technologies. Who's, yes. who's going to spend money? Mm -hmm. It's True. not cheap, let me tell you, buying all this. Oh, of course. Of course. Yes. Of course. So, if you have a, a, a painting like maybe like mine or other artists, the original piece, you, you, if you ask me, okay, let's say I draw one piece and then she, need, she wants exactly like that, mm -hmm. it can't be reproduced actually. Right, and right. It's original, one of a kind yeah. in the world, yes. of course. Especially when you use all this sort of material, That's like right. if you can see from my sample here. That's right, you um, can feel. Yes, there's wax and the sand, so that it, 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 will, be, it, would, it would be different from okay. one piece to another. Now, looking at um, uh, the art world, especially here in Malaysia, now while it is growing, uh, it is obvious that it is unlike the West, where arts are looked upon very highly. Yes. Malaysia is a... <laughs> really, you know that kind of thing. And then um, look the, at the, the price. The, 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 yes. uh, the appreciation of it has not quite reached the level which we would like. So um, you've been in it only for a couple of years. Huh? Mm -hmm. What is your impression of it thus far? Well, um, I think you are right. Actually, it's a bit hard to sell it here in, in Malaysia, but but they do sell. Mm. They do sell once you have a name or maybe That's you have right. your own signature and everything. But. Um, I think people don't know why they must buy art because some people thought they buy art because of just for decoration aesthetic purposes right yes they just fill up the, the wall the wall yes I will fill up the wall I can do my stick man uh. must <laughs> cannot be anything uh, must be something like you mentioned just now very aptly when you design something you need something which fits yes right that current feel the current mood of that room yes. and all that as well so that's very important you can't just any random picture you can put up there, Yes, right? yes, yes. Because <laughs> sometimes it will be clashed from mm. the... And then you can't get certain ambience or mood That's that you're right. trying to create in the, the area, actually. Mm. And what I I'm, I'm mentioned earlier, they forgot about... I mean, Malaysian, a lot of people didn't know that art is actually an investment. Yes, indeed. And for yes, those of you who are unaware, yes. there are paintings out there for going at prices more mm. than 100 million US dollars, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. You know, all your Van Goghs, Rembrandts and all that. Uh, yes. It's amazing. Exactly. And we're talking about real investments here. Exactly. I cannot, I cannot wow. <laughs> exactly. You only know all the figures. Huh? You yeah, I know the, the figures. <laughs> la. I know the figures. <laughs> because, you see, in, in overseas, a lot of people have all these, like, educations whereby they, they go for an art exhibition they can just look at it and they can even tell a story with it. Yes. But whereby, you know, back like, you know, in Malaysia, people is still 
Why? Oh, I can that? paint this. My kids can paint this. Yeah, they exactly. do have that, you know. Yeah, they sure do have that kind of work. Uh, yeah, that's worth fifty thousand. <laughs> but art is a very personal thing. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's very subjective. Now you mentioned just now abstract, right? It's in fact the the thing about abstract is open to interpretation. Mm -hmm. What you see could be very different from what someone yeah, else yeah. sees, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it connects with you. Sometimes you don't feel it, yes. but sometimes it does. Yes. Would that be fair of how you how art is all about? I'm not sure, but from my mm. point of view, my personal opinion, I paint abstract. One thing I like about painting abstract is actually, okay, I might have this idea about painting this mm -hmm. particular piece. When you see that painting, or she saw that painting, you two might have what you... Yeah. Different totally story, different. different yes, styles. yes. And some pieces, um, I, I do have the first painting I ever did in 2005 I sold already to one Ooh. of the same mm. Originals are <laughs> one, the first yeah. yeah That one is actually a broken heart with a uh, blood trail something like that and then there's a light at the end of the tunnel kind it of thing It can be about you! Oh, <laughs> that, that is so mean! Uh, that, yeah. that is so mean yeah. Can you draw one for her? She needs one of those <laughs> It's okay, I know how to draw hearts Okay. Don't get a blend. <laughs> yeah. Go on. <laughs> no, 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 talking about hearts. Mm -hmm. Remember in school how we used to draw hearts with an arrow? Yeah, it's so that's cliche, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> cliche, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, so that's your first piece of uh, yeah. your art. That particular piece, uh, piece um, there's another friend of mine. When he saw that piece, he was like, Hey, it looks like a mother and father fish, and then all this is the uh, anak anak ana. fish. Okay. You know, and then there's, it's like in the pond because it's like uh, I'm using a pen knife, um, mm -hmm. oil painting. Sure. Uh, so you can see like a uh, water uh, effects mm -hmm. and the lights is still like a sun that's what he said I was like oh, okay right. that's why I like to hear this kind of you know what they see is in yeah, my it's, it's, it's quite fascinating right yes. different people's perspective yep. and all that mm -hmm. alright what's going to happen right now is we're going to take a quick commercial break of course if you have any thoughts with regards to the art scene here in Malaysia what's your experience being an artist yourself well you can always email us at updates at capitaltv.my or tweet us at the Capital TV. When we come back, we're going to speak to Fai in terms of a little bit more of her experience in the art world. See you. Right, welcome back to the Morning Bell. My name is Joanne, of course, together with Raj Arya as well. Raj, are you ready for some really artsy, artsy yeah. lessons now? We're going to learn Art 101 right now, especially for someone like me who art is Arts like... for the dummies. Yeah, seriously <laughs> dummies. This I will not deny. So fine, uh, with regards to uh, the art which you have created in the past, you actually con can be considered a newbie, but from the pieces we've seen looking like, at it i don't think no one would no. guess <laughs> I no one would guess. guess you have done it for like what uh since what 2006 was it 2005 2005 yeah. that's right we're talking about only what mm. eight years and at least seriously was in 2009 right yes that's yes. right so <coughs> it seems that there are different schools of thought that art is some say it has to be natural you know mm -hmm. someone has a natural gift but some yep. say this is something where you learn or hone your skill. What, yeah. What's your thoughts from your personal experience? <laughs> it's quite clear she's a natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is purely, I think, is Amazing. your talent, Thank right? You. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, um, if you ask me, I think whatever you do, if you really put your heart in it, if you really like to do it, you will get, you know, what you want. Actually, you always want to polish and to be the best, I think. Sure. Yeah, and, and in my case, because of I know I'm new and mm. I know I, I do know a lot of things and to be honest with you when I started painting I actually um, learned to use the material from the uncle who sold all this uh, No kidding! Yes. From scratch! Absolute scratch! Yes! I don't know what canvas to use what colour what brush you know mm. the uncle luckily like you know like very nice to me and wants to right. help me and until after I uh, joined a few exhibitions then I got to know a few artists and right. so far they are very nice to me. Pick up tips, yeah. ideas, and you then know, they sharing. Were yes, that's when I learn, and that's when I, when they give, me, when they tell me something, then I will go to the uncle. Okay, uncle, which one is this? Mm. You know, which. Then after that, I will try experiment, right. and from that. You know, the interesting mm. thing is when you started out, uh, it was very functional in the sense that you just wanted to get to create your own paintings. <laughs> yes. 
to fit, you know, uh, to, to complement the your the interior, interior, the interior, interior, interior designing. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. suddenly from there, it started to progress beyond that. Uh. So how was the transition like? Um, it's, it's quite amazing. Uh. Okay, uh, it's actually, I, I didn't plan it to mm. be that way. Too. I never thought of me being an artist. I never thought of me being a painter. One day I actually paint in front of people because... And people pay you yes. consumer sums of yeah, money yeah, yeah. For, yes. your, for your masterpieces. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, when I first started painting, it's actually more like a, like the one in 2005. Mm. Uh, because I was... I don't know how to uh, let go, you know, my inner thoughts sometimes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my whatever I feel. So um, that's when I started painting because I can feel it's more free and I feel... I, I, in one word, I think it keep me insane. I mean, keep me sane. Keep you sane. Phew. Yeah, keep me sane. Keep me sane. Sorry. Right. Yeah. So, chance for you to express yourself, freedom yes. of expression yes. in your artwork as well. That's when I told you just now, uh, it's like a therapy for me actually, mm. doing yeah. art. Mm. So when right. it first is a therapy, you feel better after you paint. That's right. That's right. And then after that, when you join uh, all the ex exhibition, special competition, if I didn't win, but they still... Uh, get selected to be exhibitor. Of Recognition, like, yes. yes, it's amazing. Yes, that it people can appreciate uh, uh, what you have created. Uh, that's yeah. a very do nice you, feeling. Do you uh, always do a sketch? Yes, yes, I do a lot of sketch. Mm. Um, it, uh, as a designer, we sketch a lot to get an idea. Mm. We develop the idea sure. to get something. Same with uh, with art, with arts. And the uh, weird part, or maybe it's normal. I'm not sure. Right. But whenever I sketch, okay, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. Mm -hmm. Uh, I lay the, the yes, sketch yes. and then what color the dark. Yes, yes. But once it's on a painting, it's, it's different. Okay, put it there and. <laughs> totally different. Yeah, eh? sometimes it's totally different and yeah, sometimes. How from you one plan and what it eventually mm, becomes. Mm. Exactly, from one canvas and it can go to another because while, while you paint, hey, I want to do this. Open a new canvas, a mm. new canvas. I can go up to like 12 canvas at one time. Wow, amazing. And you know, sometimes on the floor, wow. sometimes on Talk the floor. Talk about wall. multitasking. <laughs> Thank God you're a woman. <laughs> right. Now, with regards to art, what is your basis of inspiration these days? <coughs> like you say, you start out abstract, mm -hmm. then you start to move into other areas, you know, the 3D where you've got uh, the texture and all that. Mm -hmm. So, what? how do you get your inspiration? Okay. Um, okay. I might sound very corny or I don't know, <laughs> but I listen to a lot of music um, and and lately, I, I've been writing, I, I've been keeping a journal and diaries. Mm. So I did a lot, uh, I wrote a lot of poems, a lot of poems. Mm. And music inspires me a lot actually. Music, uh, movie. So I paint feelings, I magnify feelings. Mm -hmm. And I, that's why I say I don't, when, when, when we are in the makeup room mm -hmm. just now, she was saying she don't know what to paint. Mm. I said, don't, don't stop yourself. Mm -hmm. Just paint whatever you Because feel. for someone for someone that who is not professional <laughs> but we want to paint something out according to our feelings but we do not want to embarrass ourselves. <laughs> Colour okay. combination. The point is this, are you painting for others or are you painting for yourself? It should yeah. be for yourself. It's for oh, myself. Yes. People will so come to my house and see it. Well, no one asks you to put in your living room, all right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, what's that? <laughs> hey, but that's my living room. I get to put... So then who are you complaining? No, it's just art lah. <laughs> ah, that's yeah. right. So basically, um, uh, those are the things which inspire you. So what kind of genre? Is it more on the love side? Uh, or is it yeah. more of, you know, uh, that's very important Usually, because it will yeah. actually show in yes. terms of your masterpieces. Okay, I like to paint when I'm sad. Mm. When I'm feeling down. Doesn't matter sad about relationship or family or mm. friends or work mm. you know sometimes you get frustrated come back from meeting this is what you propose they want something else mm. they keep changing you just that's one day i came back from meeting in my suit still i just grab a knife and mm. you know and but it feels good after that sure mm. so um it's more when i have i would say not when you're like you got nothing to do and you just paint it would turn out to i don't know rubbish I guess yep. so when you feel something and you have the urge to let it out that feeling that's when I paint mm. so it depends on the so mood so it, it will come like it's not like you set out time between 7 to 9 o'clock it's, it's, <laughs> oh, it's like okay, no, okay, no, right? like, okay this work. time I'm going to sit down I'm going to do something no, no. <laughs> it nothing. has to come naturally right yes nothing is going to come yes. out but they say when, when, when you are painting of course you know you feel it you colour it 
-hmm. it represents the stories that you tell yes. but when you let's say you know you say when you paint when you're sad mm -hmm. wouldn't that wouldn't be the color that it would be dull mm, yes. because it's sad usually they say you know like kids drawing also when they're sad they, they draw something uh, in darker colors yes. that's true um, okay since I'm I started in 2005 in 2000 and 2000 until 2012 sure. I already compiled a video mm. of uh, in a YouTube actually every two years one video so total I have four videos mm. Mm -hmm. from that I actually can personally can mm. see okay this is when I'm sad this is when I'm happy. <laughs> I can see that. You can that. see the mood, huh? Yes, I can see that. Interesting. Okay. Let's say when I'm, okay, let's say when I'm happy, you ask me uh, to, to paint fire. I want something dark because um, most of my friends said my painting's a bit dark actually. Mm. Okay. So, uh, can you paint something dark for me? Something, certain requirement. I was like, mm, I'll try. But it can, so far, Maybe she liked it or he liked it. I don't like it because I think it's not what I it's say. Not you. It's not you. It's yeah. the requirement that yes. somebody wants it. So sometimes to get into that mood, that's when I say this now. I need um, music. Right. Yes. But my right. painting, if you ask me, it will be... It, some some of it is very dark. You can see sure. the colour movement, the colour choice, the movement of the stroke. But some is very happy. You can see from... The lines, the vibrancy, the vibrancy yeah, right. uh, is mm. more um, details compared to when I'm sad or down. It's more like a splashing and not thinking, just. Yeah, yes. very, very interesting. Very, very fascinating. <laughs> now, of course, uh, you, we were talking about uh, the mediums which you use. You mentioned mm -hmm. acrylic. Mm -hmm. So, um, what are the various forms which you use to create your art? Okay. Um, okay. I think it's a combination of many <laughs> things, right? Yes, <laughs> but, but my case is a bit um, weird because of normally people started with uh, pencil, sure. then pen, then colour. That's color. right. Mine I started with oil. <laughs> is it oil the hardest? The, hard, the difficult one. I would say, yeah. yeah. Because of... Uh, with one mistake. Uh, yes, you know, uh, and it's very, very messy actually. Mm, exactly, yes. to say the least. That's when I go to acrylic and then start from last year I think I start into I start using uh, charcoal and mm -hmm. watercolour yeah. so I would say I've tried quite a medium actually or all kind of medium with, with all of this which is the most difficult one that you think to control to control um, maybe because I'm still new with uh, sure. charcoal mm -hmm. so I think charcoal is a bit hard plus it's it's a bit messy mm. you know there's one time i did okay this one the shading sure mm. i was doing it and then there's fan, the fan on uh, under the fan right S my hair is long so i was like i end up oh. having like <laughs> this on my without face. realizing it without realizing it so it's very so very cute. yeah right mm. okay Fantastic. Now, we're going to take another short commercial break again. Yes, such a riveting topic. We find so fascinating art and how you create all these mother species. Of course, if you have any questions you'd like to ask Fai, you can always email us at updates at capitaltv.my or tweet us at the Capital TV as always. We'll take a short break and then we're going to come back and talk more about the commercial sense. That's right. How can you make money ah. from art? Okay, let me get this right. If uh, from looking at this painting, I could see obviously it's love with hope in it. Am I right? Yes. Did I get it right? <laughs> yes. You still <laughs> see hope. There is a lot of. That's how I look at it, lah. This piece yeah. of art. Something Joanne can obviously relate to, lah. <laughs> I think I'm going to copy this. And then sign it, and then no, and then sell it lah. <laughs> <Send it> money. <laughs> we will see how much you can sell it for. So speaking of selling it, fine. Mm -hmm. Now it's one thing drawing and doing all this for personal satisfaction. Mm -hmm. It's another thing when you're doing it for commercial reasons. True. Now when you started out, then you realize that hey, maybe this is something I can do and mm -hmm. perhaps earn a living a bit, out of, a bit. Mm -hmm. earn a bit perhaps. Yeah. How do you go about starting off? Starting What's off. What's a very 
<laughs> difficult. <laughs> oh. It is. <laughs> First of all, because they are my babies, it's hard to price them. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. priceless. Yeah, part, part exactly. Pricing. Yeah. exactly. And they all come with feelings, so mm. that's why. Um, at first, when I started painting and people want to buy, I was like, um, uh, I'm not selling it. Yeah. Because um, I love them, you know. But after a while, until they pile up in my room, I got nowhere. No more space for your baby. Yeah, yeah. It's time to yeah. uh, leave <laughs> the nest. I could, I could understand where you're coming from because yeah. it cannot be done in the same way again yes. the same it's one the of same. a kind yeah. right it's yeah. not something you can replicate right so when i started because i don't know anybody at that time sure i i put a price on them based on how i feel about that piece you hope to get in a good mood it's not that time hmm. but um like if I, if it's difficult to do i put it like oh, high of course price. The uh, amount of yes. effort and time. Yes. The canvas as well. The canvas oh. as well, yes. Oh. Definitely, we have to cover the cost of the Of week. course, of yes. course. Of definitely. Course. And then after that, um, after I, I, I think after a few exhibition and few, uh, after met few curators That's from right, the gallery. That's right, feedback and all that. Yes. Yeah. They did advise me to price them. Basically, you refer to what uh, normally people price them sure. according to size. Sure. So in my case, uh, now mm. how I price them is actually per square feet. It's easier for me to 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 tell nowadays. Right. You know? To quantify. Uh. Yes, mm -hmm. because uh, but then it will be different because I do have a lot of materials and sizes. Sure. So it will be for my uh, it will be from three hundred ringgit per square feet to five hundred ringgit per square feet. Right. Mm. Right. Yes, mm. but that again. If I really love that piece, I don't want to let it go. It will be boom. Higher price, that's right. You want it, you have to mm. make it boom. Yes. Now, the thing is, you said people start to see your paintings and they were so mesmerized by it that they want to have it. How did you get a chance to showcase this? Is it through exhibitions in art galleries? I mean, at the very beginning, because you're nobody, you know, you're starting out a newbie. And how do you get the chance to actually showcase your artwork? Okay. In 2005 to 2006, mm. I paint because of this is like short scenery stuff, you know. Mm, like, mm, mm, I mm. can relate to short scenery. Yes. Yeah, go on. <laughs> then after that, uh, nobody can actually see my painting. Even my parents, they they can't. I don't allow them to because this is not. They might like. Apni, apni. Yeah, that's why I told you, like like I told you lah. Mm. We don't want to embarrass. I don't want to show embarrass your daughter myself. Can already, la. No, <laughs> somebody might like it. Somebody like yeah. parents like. What are you doing? Yes. Can you just stop being like? really an artist and be <laughs> what we call it uh, right. anti-social yeah, yeah. Yes. that's a very beautiful cat it's not a cat it's a dog <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> so yes. yes you were then, saying and then um, after that um, I met a friend okay. uh, she's a journalist actually and she was suggesting that why don't you go and approach galleries? I was like, why should I? I can't. I don't. I can't even show to my friends. I say, and you let alone to the public. <laughs> you yes. don't. You don't know how good you are that that time. Uh, even now, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Shy to go and show to these experts. Uh, all these art gallery owners. Then they look at it. What is? Are you serious? There? Are you? Se <laughs> are, you serious? are you serious? You know. Yeah. I do have that actually until okay. now. Even until now. Right. And then after that, uh, I was like, no. And she suggested to uh, to show it online okay. through blog mm -hmm. actually, and that's where I started right. uh, plus some people want to know what's the story behind the painting sure. a lot of painting sells not because of the look that's why this is now you ah, said painting and then one dot or what it's actually because of the story uh, behind the painting mm, some people something want can it relate they can to relate yes that's right. mm. so that's when I started online and then after that from there somebody discovered me wow. and asked me to join uh, at their art community sure. Mm -hmm. uh, web mm -hmm. online thing. Sure. So I started there, and that's when I got to know a lot of things. And from there, they encouraged me to actually join an exhibition. Right. That's mm. how. That's when it started. Right. And then you feel a bit of confidence yourself already yes, by that, with all the recognition slowly by slowly. Then you're not shy anymore. Yes, because I know, you know, I know who to talk to, mm. who to refer to, to, for maybe for an opinion. Sure. Yes, it started that. Okay, now the thing is, we always talk about the good stuff. Now people say, "Wow, it's fantastic!" And have you? I'm sure you have encountered people who are more critical. They say, "No, this is not what I'm looking at. It's not up to the standard that is expected." Have you received that in the past? Um, so far, I think maybe I'm very lucky. I mm. don't know, or maybe because people know that oh, she's not from art. Don't critic her like oh, okay. her. Give her chance, chance, chance. Yes, mm. maybe. Mm -hmm. But so far, when I, I do receive orders, actually, like. Sure. Um, 
I seldom take any orders because of I don't know what's in your mind, what's in your heart. Some it's people uh, might say, okay, fine, I have this area, I want this size, mm. this color, this kind of look. Some it's tough, isn't it? Because yes. it's not you and you're doing it for mm. someone. It's not real at the end of the day, isn't it? Exactly. It's quite tough. Mm. Huh? But so it's just not about helping someone to place an art piece on an empty wall. Yes. It's just not like that. Yeah. It's, oh. it's not as simple as that. Yeah. But sometimes, uh, maybe I'm lucky because I tell them, okay, I can, it, normally they would have uh, they refer to any of my paintings. They want something like this, something ah, like this. Yes, yeah, easier. Yes, then it will be easier. Yeah. Then I was, I was keep telling them, it won't be exactly like that. It will depend on my mood. It will do this. It will yeah, do that. And yeah. so far, they love that. Mm. So mm. yeah, I, I, that's why I say I'm very lucky. But in terms of art critic, yes, I do receive a lot, mm. a lot of them. Um, but it's okay, you know. Yeah. Um, for you to become better, you will keep yeah, to grow, huh? to learn yes. whether it's good, uh, good mm. feedback or yes. you know, constructive feedback. It's always good to, to receive. Now, very, very importantly, we're almost running out of time. Uh, what do you believe is the most important element in creating an art piece? I don't think I'm the right person to ask. Yeah. I'm still <laughs> experimenting. But well, I think for personally, you personally, yeah, yeah. personally, I like. Um, it must be something that I like. It must be suitable with the area. Mm -hmm. You must know uh, the color. Sometimes the color may look odd in your place, but because of her place, it will be suitable for sure. that area. Mm -hmm. But uh, in a good painting, I think a composition of the the layout of the painting, and then the subject matters. Sure. Uh, what you want to? You can't simply just paint and display. It, it must have something unique about it. it must you must have. It is, it's good if you can find your own identity uh, to create your art and to create your name. Mm. So that when people go to any exhibition, they're like, okay, that's yours. A niche, right? Yes. A certain distinctive style, yeah. unique Must be you. there, yeah. Yes, yeah. Must be there. Mine is always hard. Yeah. <laughs> Broken heart. <laughs> no, like, so just bad. kidding. Like, yes, mm. yes it, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, one final question. What advice would you give to all those aspiring artists, <laughs> especially here in Malaysia, where it's a wee bit more challenging compared yeah. to the West? Okay, um, oh well, how do I put that? I think if you really like to, to, to be an artist, just keep on doing whatever you want to do and try to, to join all these exhibitions and please don't just join a group exhibition. Join a uh, competition so that you know where's your where, your where you stand. Your level where you stand. Where you stand. Mm. Well then after mm. that, maybe one day you can just if you don't go travel the world, your painting might travel the world. True, true. You never so know. Yes, you could never be know. discovered just like how you <laughs> were at some point. Yeah. So one one last thing. What moving forward from here? What's next in the pipeline? What is your ambition right now? Any what? exhibition? Okay, now I'm actually having my first solo exhibition. First solo? Yes. Fantastic. Uh, after 46 um, group exhibition. 46, oh, wow. that's a yeah. big number, right? Yes, for well, four years, 46 years exhibition is... Hmm. Yeah, more than 10 a year. So, uh, have, has the date been settled? Uh, it's actually currently current running in oh, okay. Kuantan uh, until end of this month. Sure. Mm -hmm. But the next one will be the second solo this year. You know, I was always want to do a solo. Right. I never thought I can do it as fast as... Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it will be in uh, art gallery in Malacca. Fantastic. Yeah, the second one. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Great things to come. Yes. Ultimate dream with regards to art. Ultimate dream will be next what? year. To be in Christie's and uh, auction of <laughs> Christie's and uh, saw this video. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So uh, next year I plan to go. I might want to go to overseas to start because I started. I I do have two exhibitions in Hong Kong and also London. Wow. So mm. now I'm actually. Um, Planning to go maybe more um, countries or That's something. That's right. Now, across mm -hmm. the horizons beyond Malaysia, yep. the world yes. beckons. <laughs> Last thing, if people want to find out more information, you have a blog. Can you just share with us? Okay, uh, my blog, you can find it in uh, faizakar.blogspot.com. Right. Or you can find it on my Facebook page. Uh, Faizakar ideas section. All right, fantastic. Mm. So there you have it. Where blog. you want to find out more yep. inspiration in terms of how she has created all these masterpieces, her story as well in the art world. That's yep. all the time we have for here, here on Morning Bell Five. Thank you for being on the show today. Thank you very we much. We hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as Joanna and I yes. have. If you are feeling down today, just go get a canvas and start painting yes. and start drawing. Feel the moment. <laughs> right, that's all the time we have for today. And thank you for watching on our Morning Bells. Uh, 
Stay tuned tomorrow, same time, same place, right here on the Morning Bell tomorrow then. Right? Bye.